Hi guys, welcome to my end of year whip parade. Even though it's the 3rd of January, this is my end of 2022 whip parade. Um, I last did whip parade in May 22, so I haven't actually, I've done an awful lot of stitching since then, but I haven't actually stitched on very many things. So I've got everything in front of me here, and I've got lots here, but some of the things I'm literally going to rattle through because they have not changed since May. Um, if you're new, hi, welcome. I talk a lot, but my whip parade from May will have all the explanations and why I'm stitching things and why I'm choosing to put it aside and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I am stitching on. I'm going to show you everything, but I'm going to show you what I'm stitching on and what I'm planning to do going forward this year. So... I've got lots. I think then I had 61 whips. I think I counted up to 58, but it actually counted out at, I think, 61. Since then, I have UFO'd, I think, five. I think I had, yeah, I'm going to have to sort of start again, I think. Yesterday, I had notes. Yesterday, I had, just found another one. Yesterday, I had all the information to hand and then I recorded my video hour and 12 minutes long got through it thought brilliant all done went went to put it in to do the editing and it said can't play video so this has happened before where it's recorded I've recorded and it just looks perfect like everything's recording perfectly and it just says can't record video I think it basically tops out to a certain size and then that's it, it's unhappy. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do little chunks and stop the video and start the video again so that I've got shorter videos that I can splice together. So I don't have my notes today because I don't know where I put them and I'm just going to rattle on. I've got my amount of stitching and everything, but anyway. So first section last time, and I'll go first section again, is my long dog samplers now i adore long dog samplers and i have got quite a few on the go i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i think i think i've got ten long dog samplers on the go at the moment i finished since my last one slava ukraini i finished Entre Chien et Lou, which is the wolf and the moon, and I have finished opening Gambit. I still have backstitch to go on it. It's not being shown today. I've got another long dog sampler right there. This sad item is in my fix it pile. I decided last night I had to to be fixed it, but I'll show you it anyway. So since I last recorded, I have only stitched on this one and this one so i'll show you these two so i'll try and show you the things i've actually stitched on first in each section and then i'll show you the others so last time i showed you um a piece of beautiful lakeside linen in a lovely like smoky sky blue with six stitches on it or something stupid like that and that was santa quill now, I restarted Santa Quill at the beginning of Flossmas on a piece of 30 count Peoria purple. It's Weeks Dye Works. And he is currently sitting at. Doop 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 doop. Santa Quill 16.52%. So I restarted this. And that's where I am on it. This is using Dinky Dye um, Quicksilver. And I put beads in where the uh, Quaker little, where the little Quakers are so it's, it's three hairs it's a lovely picture and I'm going to stitch something other than quill on the sleigh but this is going to not be stitched on for a little while now it's actually a little bit bluer toned than it's showing it's a lovely purple um, as I go if I've got a picture of what it should look like finished, I will put it up. I'm not going to be putting before and after pictures or anything because I've simply not taken them. So, hey-ho. So, Santa Quill, I have stitched on. 
and I'm putting away now for a bit. The only other one that I stitched on, I found out when I did my whip parade, was Gone to Pieces, which is the last one I started. And it's the one of the newer ones, and it's the jigsaw one. Hopefully there'll be pictures popping up, but they may or may not be. Um, which way round are we? This one is currently sitting at 9.41%. So that's where I am with that one. It's pretty full coverage for a long dog sampler, this one. I like it very much. I'm stitching it on 36 count um, granite. It's a printed fabric. It's even, it's very lovely even weave. And I'm stitching with one strand of mostly their dinky dye. And it is just, the stitches are even and neat and beautiful. I really, I really like this 36 count. It's a uh, lakeside needle craft. Um, I think they're basically fabric flare fabrics, but they're Lakeside Needlecraft exclusives. So, Gone to Pieces is the one that I have actually stitched on. So there's those two. Then I've got a couple of paper patterns. And then the rest are all in Pattern Keeper, so I can, I can wrestle them pretty easily. Right, so my first one I'm showing is Pilgrim. I say it's always my first one because it's the first one I started. So my Pilgrim, this is why I've sat so far away from the camera today, is currently there. So that is, I think, uh, nine pages perhaps. It might be 12 pages. Anyway, I've got the bottom row of pages to go. Colours blowing out a little bit there. This is, that's about, there we go. That's the colour it actually is. Slightly darker on the purple background. Um, this is two strands of Mrs. Sader's Darling Silk over two on 28 count and this is a purple fabric that I hand dyed and it's not quite this colour. It's more that colour. Oh! That might actually be better colour wise. I've just turned my lamp out. It's much more that colour, but now this looks wrong. I'm going to go for bright and I'll just let you know when it when because that obviously shows it better. Anyway, um, I need to get on with this. This is going to go in my I'm keeping it I'm keeping it to hand pile. Now my other paper pattern is Dilemma which I'm also stitching on the 36 count granite. I like this fabric very much. I think I've got three, possibly four projects of it. And this hasn't changed and it still looks like this. Mm, that might be the, yeah, that's the top corner. Still looks like that. Same 36 count. You can see it's printed. It's plain on the back. There, you can see the difference there. And this is in Karen Water Lily pomegranate which is a really nice pinky orangey browny kind of thread and the when I when I finally get to the pictures in the middle I'm, I'm going to be using dinky dye mystic pools which is here this lovely purple so haven't stitched on that and that's going in my I'll think about it later pile. Okay. The new normal. The new normal currently is sitting at 1677. This was my new start restart on a beautiful piece of Aegean Be Stitch Me 40 count linen. And 16 cent looks about like that. So I've got hmm, all, all the way across, corner to corner on a beautiful piece of fabric. I want to stitch on this, but I'm not going to be stitching on it for a few months yet in my thinking. So I'm going to pop him over there. None of these have changed since the last time I showed them in May. Um, pandemic hasn't changed since May. This is on 40 count as well. Big, big piece of 40 count using one strand of Mrs. Sader's Hydrangea Silk. And it is only sitting at 11.12. So 
so he was saying you're holding it up sideways there we go i always hold this one up sideways because i've only done that little corner but it's beautiful and i love it and i really should stitch it but mm -mm 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 -mm. I need to pull my finger out and not just concentrate on the things I like the best because I like all of them but I get stuck in a rut. Um, here is Forbidden Fruit which is sitting at 674 again love it need to get on with it done hardly any I've only done that much that's on a beautiful piece of the Stitch Me Marine 40 count and it's going to be greys and navy blues and just beautifulness Oh, it's just lovely. Oh, the stitches are so tiny and gorgeous. I really just want to get on with all of these pieces. And I have no time. I have no time. Then I've got Count Your Blessings. Count Your Blessings is at 12.09% is and it is this big. This is my only piece where I'm stitching it on 32 count over one. This, these are just the tiniest little squinky 32 count stitches it's not really my thing not very good at seeing it it was just the oh go on why not that's going in the i'm putting it away for now pile and similarly birdies which i've only done this much i'm not even getting it out of its bag Birdies is at 2.32%. It's a huge piece. I've probably popped a picture up of it. And I completely changed up the colourway. So the colourway for Birdies is basically this rainbow, which is all DMC and all. Hmm, yes, it's all DMCs. And uh, basically, my Birdies will go round in a loop, and I've run out of something there. I need some 915 in there. There should be 915 in this here hole. But my last long dog sampler, which I am keeping out and I'm going to be stitching on this month, is the Pointed Fist, which is runs from these are the colours in the Pointed Fist. So I then pulled the extra colours to lap round the round the rainbow. So I just went and picked the colours I liked. And then filled in filled in gaps to make them that round. So my point of fifth is at 33.5%. And it's pretty big. This is 33%, so it's only one third finished. It's going to fill this fabric. And that's where it is. I came to a bit of a slidey stop because I made a mistake. Because I'm doing this ombre effect and I didn't to ombre this I just stitched this in the, bur in the burgundy down here I just stitched straight up and it was wrong so I've taken all that out and I've redone it so that it's right so that it's got the right colours in it because it was just annoying me so now I just need to carry on with it and to that end this is staying out this month so of my long dogs I have kept out the pointed fist and I've kept out the pilgrim One's on a paper pattern, one's on Pattern Keeper. And my other long dog sampler, which I'm keeping out because it needs help, is Castles in the Air. This needs two sorts of help. One, it needs damping and ironing, obviously. It's been very, very sadly scrumpled. There is my Castles in the Air start. This is only 7.39%. Using again the Dinky Dye Quicksilver, but Castles in the Air is going to be gridded because this has been in time out for long enough to end up in this state. I think it got scrumpled up somewhere. It's been in time out because I make mistakes because it's 40 count and the stitches are tiny and there's counting. And I'm going to grid it just, just a bit. I'll only grid a few lines just to give me a bit of a helper. So this is staying out because it needs helping, needs gridding, and it needs ironing. Poor thing. That's on a piece of 40 count, so I got Lagoon. Absolutely bog standard, so I got colour. 
and that's my long dog front too. So I've kept out pointed fifth and I've kept out the Silbrin. They're staying out with me right now. I'm going to do a new video. So my next section is haze. Now I've got quite a few haze and I've got three, possibly four that I'm going to start. I've got three on my list that I'm going to start and I might start the mini dewdrop dragon as well. <clears throat> so my first haze, what shall I show you? The ones I've actually stitched on. I'm going to show you the ones I've actually stitched on first and then I'm going to show you the ones that I haven't stitched on since the last. So the first and most obvious, if you've watched any of my boss tubes in the last since <clears throat> May, when I showed this in May in my, my mid-year floss uh, whip parade, I had stitched this much of this piece. This is my, what I kind of call my perma project my super size max color treasure hunt bookshelf and this I try and stitch 1% a month and I've done it for the last eight months this is sitting exactly at 8% because I've stitched on it for eight months in a row and 8% of my treasure hunt bookshelf looks like this super size max color it will fill this fabric and take me 10 years with a little bit of wriggle room built in obviously it's going to take me 100 months if I do 1% a month but which is eight and something years but it's going to fill this piece of fabric this is 20 count easy grid Zweigart and it's getting nice and floppy this is how I handle my big haze this comes in the car with me this gets chucked in bags this is how I roll it works for me. I appreciate it doesn't work for everybody. But this is me. This stays out. Currently bang on 8%. I absolutely love it. I'm going to work in this section for this month because I've got lots of little gaps and then I'm going to just do a bit here maybe this month. That's why my Q-snap's already there. That stays out permanently. Um, I had a new start since May. I started Amy Stewart's and obviously the bookshelf's Amy Stewart, another bookshelf, Amy Stewart. This is The Amazing Animal Kingdom. Lots of my key snaps have popped, popped bits off. This I started a little while ago um, and it's at 6.75%. That's 25,000 stitches. So that's where it is. There is a dolphin best part finished there, a whale best part finished, and then some books, a giraffe on a book, a waterfall, a beautiful little rainbow, but that's where I am. I will be stitching on this this year, but not right now. So I started that just because I just loved it so much. So Amazing Animal Kingdom, love it, not stitching on it at the moment. Okay, and I think that's all the haze I've stitched on since May. So really, oh God, no, it's not. Here on my lap, with thread ready to go, is Snow Wizard. Now, I did a little floss tube between Flossmas and now, and I suddenly just went, oh, I need to stitch on Snow Wizard. And when I picked it up, it was at, I think, 82%. It's now, today, right now, this minute, at 88.93. It's even up on my pattern keeper. 88.93. I am nearly there. All the stitches I have left are in this box. Um, I think I might even have uh, where it was at my last floss tube, which I will put up here. And this is nearly finished. I am stitching on this now until it's done. And then I will swap out for a different haid. This is going to be done hopefully this week. And I'm going to unroll it. So. There's the top. Now the reason this is so enormous. And this is the snow wizard. Not the snow castle. Obviously wizard down there. And it's a companion piece to the snow castle. It's not 
a mini, it's not a story keep, it's just a very skinny haid. It's only 125 stitches across here. Now you're looking at this and going, but that's eight, nine inches. This is 14 count Ada. You can stitch your haid on whatever you want. I had a big long piece of 14 count Ada and I just started it. Now, I showed last time there was a big chunk, a very bright 155 here and it was right on the pattern and it was it just it didn't sit right to me so all I did was I stitched it over with one strand of 340 so it looks slightly blended there I've left this chunk here because there's a little bit there and a little bit up there that kind of all blends together but I've covered up the bit that I didn't like and I like it a lot more now so who knew so that's what I did. I just I just over I just overstitched it, overstitched the 155 with 340, just one strand. It looks like a blend up close, but it's not going to be up close, is it? It's going to hang on a wall. So it's nearly done, and I'm going to be stitching on this until it's finished now. So it's just they're my highest unfinished stitches, and what I've been doing is I've just been. I've been colour completing right the white the white is still got a thousand stitches of white I'm going to leave them till last so as you can see as I scroll through the stitches I have colour completed down to 824 there's eight stitches of 824 there's one stitch of 825 oh, so I've got to find 825 get a strand do one stitch finish it off put it back on the bobbin and then get 826 of which there is two stitches left but I'm getting there and I'm current today while I was just knocking some stitches in 3770 I've still got 1500 stitches of that to go so that's all I've got left Snow Wizard will we finish this year will we finish this month I really truly hope obviously it's staying out then the other piece that I'm going to keep out for right now is the is the key. Uh, custom mill, normal size paid. Again, this is on 14 count. Mm, I left the needle just jammed in there. That's how I roll. Now the key is a lovely, lovely picture, and I colour completed the black a uh, year before last. This is exactly at 40%. And it's huge because it's on 14 count. So I think I can scroll up and show you all of it. Hope I'm in shot there. There's the gorgeous little dragon. I've, so I've basically finished an ivy leaf there and I finished that moth. Dragon is just about done. I think there's a few little gaps in him. And then the, 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 uh, the blade of the key is there. And then I've done quite a bit on some of these bricks. So my plan is to stitch on one haid and one non-haid a month, like concentrate on them and do my treasure hunt bookshelf, which is non-negotiable, um, which is 7,223 stitches a month to do my 1%, which I'll do every month if I can, hopefully, unless disaster unfolds, in which case everything will go to pot. But I'm going to concentrate and try and put some stitches in, a haid and a non-haid every month. So these are my January projects, the key and pointed fifth. And I'll start on the key once I've finished Snow Wizard. That's the little deal I've made with myself. Right, so all the rest of my haids I haven't stitched on since last time I showed you them, so I'm going to rattle through them. I've got Meditation, which is an Elizabeth Welker design. Absolutely beautiful pattern. Um, still sitting at 4.77%. It is massive. Okay, I have got um, Mini A Real Snow Job, which is 9% or something. 
haven't stitched on it for ages haven't stitched on it this year possibly not going to stitch on it last year I mean probably not going to stitch on it this year and we'll see that's not not one of my priority pieces of steel to be um then I've got god loads here mini autumn's promise which is another um custom mills little dragon this is actually at 45.77 percent it is a mini edges there and the bottom is just off just off the bottom here so i am going to be stitching on this this year in one of the months i will try and do a big chunk on it it's absolutely filthy i've had a cat sleeping on it I need to take a lint roller to it and it needs a really good, this will need a machine wash, a hot machine wash, because it is absolutely mingy filthy. This is one of the first ones I've started and it's really pretty and I'd, I'd like it done, but I've got a long way to go. This bit here is all complete. It's complete to, I think, there. You can see there's a, a ridge there where the white stitching stops. And there's a few gaps in this leaf but other than that that is complete to I think these gaps here all this bit but it would be nice to get it to say 50% so realistically I think that's doable this year if I if I concentrate it on it on one in one month I should be able to put a good chunk in okay then I've got oh they're all in my lap I've got, I'll show you my other bookshelf. I need to, I will work on this this year. This is Bountiful Bookshelf. And it's on 18 count Ada, hence why it's huge. Standard size, standard colours. That side's a bit more finished than this side. And this is at 7.98%. Why didn't I just take it to 8%? So I'm going to at least get it to 8%, <laughs> which is probably going to be about 50 stitches. How many stitches is it going to be? Um, 35, it's going to be 70 stitches. So even if I put 100 stitches in this this year, it'll be at 8%. I'd like to put in a lot more than that, obviously. Three and a half thousand stitches for 1% though, so it probably won't get to 10 this year. We'll see. Bountiful bookshelf, Amy Stewart. Then I've got ornament, Hubble Bubble. It's on 25 count, one over one. This is a Lisa Parker. And it is currently at 7.54% and hasn't changed since I showed it last. Beautiful little picture. I will have this. I think all of my hay I should be able to work on this year. I think I should have a month I can work on each one. Um, this one is... Uh, quick stitch, a stitch in time winter. It's an Amy Stewart quick stitch. It's the picture from the winter section of a stitching shelf. It's here, it's at 2.11%. This is on 25 count. I'm a full cross stitcher. So if I say I'm doing it on 25 count, one over one, it's a full cross. Even though they're tiddly squiddly, bit small for me. 25 counts, not quite my jam. 20 count, perfect. So, sometimes it's good to push yourself a little bit. Uh, so my three 25 counts just turned up at the same time. Because this one's 25 count as well. This is um, Sunflower, Mini Sunflower Cottage. I don't have the percentage. It hasn't changed. I think it's at something like 19. But it's tiny, teeny, tiny. It's only going to be this big finished going to fit on this basically a full size whole a whole heap of us started it all at the same time mm -hmm. everyone else is doing much better than me i think mostly i haven't stitched on this for a long time but i do love it i love the colors in it and it's so tiny the stitches are so tiny and i need to just get on with it this is actually in pattern keeper on my fire tablet so yeah it's <laughs> never got any charge in it this and I think three other things are on there. Right, that's the end of my haze. So all I'm keeping out is my treasure hunt bookshelf, obviously, 
non-negotiable 1% a month. I'm keeping out the key for January and Snow Wizard to finish and then move on to the key. So my next section are full coverage pieces that are not haze, to which I have stitched on two, I think. Three. I've stitched on three since May. So I can show you those. I had a start. My start is Moon Dragon, which I got on Etsy. And it is currently at 11.82% because I'm not stitching the black background. So I'm saving myself 40 well basically 46,000 stitches I'm saving myself so I've taken it from 110,000 and something down to 57,000 stitches so I'm at 6811 at the minute and he looks like this and I love him absolutely love him it's going to be quite big quite, this this is the fabric that I started my original treasure hunt bookshelf on and you can see it there and then I restarted my original Treasure Hunt bookshelf on. And you can see that there is stitching on there. Yeah, the Ada was nasty. It was cheap. Ada bought off eBay before I knew about it, so I got. But now it has been <laughs> machine washed twice and tumble dried and dyed about 12 times to get it as black as I could get it. There's still some pale bits, some mottling, some splodging. But I've placed the dragon very carefully so that the lighter parts here are going to be covered with the stitching because he's full coverage bar the black. So all I'm not stitching, I've stitched right up to the edge. Any of the navy blue stitches, I've stitched them. But as soon as it went to the 310, I'm not stitching the 310 around the background. There's 310 in his eye, there's 310 in his nostril. Obviously, I'm stitching those. And in the corner of his mouth here, there was some 310. I've stitched those stitches. And what I decided to do with this was start at the end of the moon and the end of the nose. And I'm going to go round and finish at the top of the moon and the top of the tail. Moon Dragon was, my, was a new start. And I'm at 11.8%, not this month. And I also stitched a little tiny bit on City of Love, which is an Emma Congdon Stitch Rovia pattern I got from Etsy, PDF downloads, easy peasy. And it's now here, and it's now at 10.16%. And this I will stitch on this year for definite. I'd love to do about, I'd love to get about a quarter of it done. It's nice block colour. 22 count hard hanger which is okay to stitch on as long as you go gently as long as you pull gently it's fine because the hard hanger is like 25 count one over a one where if you pull too tightly i'm a really fierce stitcher i suit ada when i'm stitching haze because i pull and i tug and i yank and if i'm stitching on even weave my stitches can slide under so i have to be quite careful which slows me down a bit but City of Love will continue with this year. The only other thing I've actually stitched on is this here, which is a Lola Crow. It's called it's called What the Cat Saw, Troubled, Troubled Waters, What the Cat Saw. And it's a Kraken taking down a sailing ship. I frogged out the dirty wallpaper. It just it just it was that very pale blue grey, 3072 perhaps. And it just looked dirty to me. It was actually this corner. So I frogged that out. I'm going to put a different colour wallpaper and the cat who's sitting here, I'm going to make look like my Dum Dum Eric. So I have stitched on that. This is currently sitting at 34%. So knocking on with it. Okay, I have another little piece on here, which is a Carolyn Manning. That's Amethyst. Who knows if, when, maybe. I've got a paper... I've I say I've got a paper pattern, I've got the PDFs somewhere because I bought them as PDFs, but heaven only knows where. It's on one of the other of my old tablets or something. So that's there, just on the side of the fabric. Um, my other um, 
Carolyn Manning Designs is Shooting Star, which is a lot nearer being done. Shooting Star is at 52.46% and I need to get on with this and I will. I will get on with this this year. That's where I am on it. I haven't stitched on it since May, but I really need to. This might be February, might be March, but I will stitch on it this year. Okay, I think I've got three left of four coverages that aren't hay. I've got World of Books, which is a full kit that I got from Marie's Cross Stitch. It's there. I'm using the full kit. Um, I'm using 18 count Ada, two strands, and it's a. Uh, I'll do. It. I'll get it done in the end. But it's obviously not going to get stitched on anytime soon because it made me sigh. I also have a little tiny dingle dangle that I need to just finish. This is Doves of Peace. It was in a little. It just was in a magazine, a World of Cross Stitch magazine. And I need to just finish it because it's full coverage and it's only that size. It's got a little dove. I think I've probably got a picture of it. I should just get on with that. Then I have my Ariel, who is a Mandy Manzano that I got. Not This one isn't charted by Hayde. Um, I got this one from Etsy, but it's a legitimate, I pay, I pay the artist, kind of I have permission and pay the artist Etsy pattern and she is loosely at about 14 and a half percent I'm still finding stitches I've stitched that I haven't put into pattern keeper yet she's there she's huge that's 14 percent there's a lot of fabric rolled up here a long long term project there but beautiful and the last piece is going to make me sigh this is the best to see you with. This is I started 2021 and I have only done oh this one is on my tablet here. Oh I'll boot it up. It's something ridiculously like one percent or something. I can't I can't even remember how to switch this on there. Right. Just connecting up to the internet. I don't need it to connect up to the internet. Right. So just a sec, because it never gets switched on. Um, yeah. So the best to see you with. I'd love to stitch it. I'd love to get on with it, but I, d I don't know if I've got it in me. It's huge, and it's not grippy like the bookshelves are because its colour doesn't change all the time it's greens and here it is oh lord I've got four, six patterns in here come on um no no I don't want to update you just now can you just show me where I am but would you like to update me 1.23 percent that's pretty paltry isn't it that's it that's all I've done. 1.23%. Pretty rubbish. Um, Mini Sunflower Cottage. I am at 19.49. And the other one was this one here. Mini A Real Snow Job is at 9.19. I feel so sorry for them. I really should just get on with everything. I just don't have time. So best to see you with is going to be like a retirement project probably and the way my life is going I won't ever be retiring. So that's my four coverages that aren't paid. So I will stop the video now and restart in a second. So I have three more Emma Congdon patterns. I have stitched on one of them. I had four in my last whip parade but I have recently finished Noel. Filthy dirty, needs a good wash, needs properly framing and not just hung on my wall with two pins. But works for now. The one that I have actually worked on is Everything is Better with a Bit of Magic. Hopefully a picture will have materialised. And it was here. That bit there. And now it is here. 
I've got half a word. So at least I stitched on it a bit. This will probably be October. I will stitch on this. I also have You Are All Kinds of Wonderful, which is there. I'm doing a really slightly muted anchor conversion just because I'm using what I have. And I would very much like to get on with this. So this is going to be pulled out at some point this year. My other one was from her book and Cross Stitch for the Earth and Live Gently Upon This Earth, which I've done roughly half. There's two pages to the pattern. That's the line of page break and I've got the other half to go. I just haven't finished this tree and I haven't finished whatever is here, but I have done a little bit down below. So it, it's a roughly half. So half done, half to go. And that's my Emma Congdon's. And then everything else falls into the everything else category, which you know what? I'm just gonna take from the top of the pile and pile up. So we're gonna rattle because I haven't stitched on any of this since May so I'm just going to show you. First off we've got a Jardin Privé pattern which is an Alice in Wonderland snow globe. I've already finished the Little Red Riding Hood snow globe. I'm quite close to finish. I want to finish this this year so this will be a month's project. I've got the rabbit to finish. I've got the eyes and faces to put on the flowers, the eyes to put on the Cheshire Cat and the base of the snow globe and it will be done. And then I'll have them both done and then I can frame them and shove them somewhere. Probably in my finish box. But so I've finished one and I've one to finish. But I hopefully will take this in a month and try and get it done. I've got gardenia. I've got the feed pack. I've got a bit of a crazy fabric going on. But she does need she does need doing. Nora Corbett, crazy fabric, and she's there. So I've just started putting in some sparkle on the wing. Dress is about there, and I need to move up into her skin. So again, I'd like to put some work into her. I've got another one that I've got spring clover to do, but I'll be one in, one out. <clears throat> just had a little break, just had my tea. My next project that I have not worked on at all is Peaceful Street. This again is a full kit. I'm using the Kit Ada, which I think is possibly 16 count, and I'm using the full three strands, so it's quite textural haven't worked on it for a long time and then haven't worked on this for two years this is night walk down which is oh there beautiful blue flower pattern I just don't work on this because I'm still sad about the fabric which just let me down but I've done a fair chunk of it sooner or later I will pull my finger out and get on with it because I, I love the pattern I'm still just sad about the fabric then I've got Shannon Christine designs falling snow which is at 24.83 percent so I've done quite a bit on this it's kind of a beautiful piece of fabric um, didn't get any done this year uh, last year I was hoping to do some in Flossmas but I got waylaid with other projects so didn't get any done but I will like to get on with that. Tiny Modernist Stitch Goddess. There's the first one. I have room on my fabric to do the other one. Um, this lady here she is at about 45% so she's lovely and I really just need to get on with them. I'm gonna say it for all of these. Modern Folk Embroidery 2021 foul but I did start like super late I started it in like the September or the October of 21 and I've not quite finished March so at the very least I need to finish up March yeah long way to go on that one but very beautiful 
um, my only current Barbara Anna. Last year, last in May, I did have Sailing Dream and I did have The Dreaming Girl. I finished both of those. So here is my only Barbara Anna. This is from the Seasons Girls, the Four Seasons Girls. This is Winter. This again is on this 36 count that I like so much, the granite. I've got room to put all four of them if I do them in these little hoops because obviously it's a set of four but I would like to finish up winter this year get her off the books and then I'll have space to start another one um oh what have I got oh I've got another kit here this kit is uh Adriana perhaps this is the um crystal ball snow globe crystal ball type thing it's the winter one it's a full kit on this black nasty hard black ada that's as much as i've done that's probably as much as i will do for quite a long time and what have i got what have i got oh crikey <laughs> prairie school and nutcracker i'm not taking him out he's too noisy there is the best part of the nutcracker stitch there i don't know if it's going to fit on that scrap of fabric I need to find out at some point. Then I have the Renato Paralin. Oh, I have stitched on this. This cushion. It's deer and oak leaves and things. And I've actually done quite a bit of this. I think I've done most of these deer. This, this deer, these two babies. Squirrels, owls, birds. Bit of border. I think this, this is the halfway point. So this is actually over halfway. I'm only just over halfway. This is with Dinky Dye, Mother of Pearl, which you can see, probably it's blowing out in the light a bit. It's beautiful, beautiful thread. Anyway, I need to get on with that. Have an ink circle. Castle Walls is at 26.24%. This I've already decided is going to be February. I'm going to get on with this in February. I'll put the pointer clip away and I'll get on with this because it's lovely and I need to be stitching on it so that's February for sure I'm actually going to leave that in that pile so that it's ready my other ink circles is the modestly sized red ship of life it's only at 12.52 percent this is on 40 count vintage country mocha just a straight zygarde and a dinky dye terracotta and black sand beach or charcoal I'm never sure which it was and it's there and at some point I will pull my finger out and stitch on that I then have my Mill Hill Christmas Village collection of which I have 14 I've started two I decided to do them all on one piece of 14 count Ada so I have started the train station and I've started the Daily News yeah i need to that will be that will be stunning when it's done with 14 mill hill kits like seven over seven whenever i get to it then i have a lakeside needlecraft band variation which is a band sampler hence my huge long piece of fabric and i'm changing this up a little bit i changed up the writing it said make each day your masterpiece and i changed it to no fighting no biting i'm also going to put in a band that says don't tread on the bread and a band that says if you can catch it you can keep it and those are our three like family sayings that mean nothing to anybody else no fighting no biting is obvious maddie was my biter i used to shout it up the stairs until my lungs were sore um don't tread on the bread comes from me having to put shopping into footwells when the kids finish school they'd scramble in with their school bags and i'd be like don't tread on the bread and it became like the mantra of shopping as soon as they saw mantras of shopping they'd be like don't tread on the bread that makes me crazy and if you can catch it you can keep it it's quite recent it, it stems from a seagull and flora's wish to have to own a seagull and or pigeon it applies to both and if you can catch one you can keep it if you can catch it you can keep it yeah 
I'm pretty sure we aren't ever going to get a seagull or a pigeon as a pet. Fairly safe bet, I think. So I will stitch on that this year for sure. I really want to get on with it. Then I have my Celtic Lady, my summer Celtic Lady, for which I got, if you, if you haven't come across me before, I got on eBay a full vintage kit up, including unobtainium needle paints which give me that little my heart just goes oh every time I see them because you can't buy them and you've not been able to buy them for a long long time but my kit was complete it had all the treasure braid it's got all the beads had the pattern had the fabric except I subbed in my own fabric which I went a bit crazy dying so here's where she is as you can see my fabric is crazy but nice and she covers a lot of it so her hair is complete I love that that's just DMC shading that is beautiful her skin is complete which I did do over one um, top of her dress is done her sleeve this bit of her sleeve is done and her dress is done to about well the back the, that back bit of her dress is done and some of this has got some stitching still I've got some gold to put in so I have started her and I started here and sort of did bits of border to count myself down. I will stitch on her at some point this year. So realistically what I'm looking at is 24 projects, give or take, that I'm going to work on this year. So kind of one a month. If by some miracle I finish something, I'll just sub in something else. But we'll cover that in our floss tubes this year. Two more. Carriage house samplings, Hawk Run Hollows, if anyone's come across, I think we've all come across them. I have two on the go. This didn't get stitched on at all in 2022. This is the shores of Hawk Run Hollow and I am three blocks in and this is the glorious Technicolor version and I'm just subbing in whatever colour I fancy. So the charted colours are just out the window and I'm changing up all the words. This is actually the first thing I stitched when I came back to cross stitch as an adult after doing tiny bits of cross stitch as a teenager. I'm 46 if you haven't met me so I've been stitching since 2019 so I'm only in year four of cross stitching. I've been floss tubing since July 2020 so that's when it really went from explode it exploded. So this is what I stitched first thing when I came back to cross stitch and it's terrible but it is what it is and I changed the words to we light our own way come what may because I think we light our own way and I will be changing up all the words on this to fit in with my family mostly my daughters and I've got all the plans for it scribbled on the backs of each of each sheet of pattern so I, I know what I'm doing but I just got to do it and my last piece that I have, well, I've got 4% on my tablet. So I'm nearly at the end of my tether with my tablet. Um, again, we won't talk about yesterday, is Halloween. Now, I shamelessly stole the fabric idea from um, Mama Bear Stitchery. Because she was stitching, she's stitching her, she's miles on from me, um, on Blurple fabric. So I dyed my own piece of Blurple fabric, did it myself videoed it it's a right old muddle up mishmash the video's way down there somewhere in 2020 but that's where I am so the first block is completed didn't quite make it my camera shut down because I had to plug my tablet in so my tablet's plugged in I can finish my video this is my last piece anyway and yeah I'd dearly 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 like to finish even if I just finish this bit here with the witch and the half cauldron um, it's a double block in the middle but we will see we will see paper pattern all the way for these guys because they're old school so that's my whip parade I think I've got about 53 here currently I have three new starts and possibly a fourth I am going to start um, jungle montage normal size max color I've decided normal size max color is my jam 
Super Size Max Colour, my Treasure Hunt bookshelf, is a one-off. That is just a one-off because it's it's so huge. So I'm going to go normal size but Max Colour because I love it and I'm on board with the confetti. Amy Stewart and Shiro Machete are, which I haven't started any of his yet, but I've got two to start. Um, I've got like six to start, but the two I'm going to start they're going to be confetti heavy full stop anyway so i may as well put the extra colors in just to pop them so i'm going to out of my whip pile comes sorry about that out of my whip pile comes randall spangler's fireside dreams which is 20 count going in as a new start will be quick stitch ye old kitchen kitten pictures coming up here that will be started on this when once I finish Snow Wizard. The deal I've made with myself is I can start my new starts, however many. I might start one, I might start all four, once I finish Snow Wizard. So it's not New Year, New Start. It's New Year, Finish, and then my new starts. And out of my whip parade comes Cosmic Marbles on this huge piece of 25 count. And onto this piece of 25 count will go jungle montage because cosmic marvels is amazing but that's a retirement project for me so i'm going to reuse my fabric because i've already bought the fabric got fabric big enough it's going on there i'm also going to start my peekaboo sea beacon which i was gifted a full set of floss for which i'm very very grateful for um we had a bit of a muddle up and I'm afraid I was a bit of a toddler and I was and I'm sorry <laughs> but um, the, the lady sent me a full kit up of the project which I am unbelievably grateful for and I have fabric so I'm going to start that because I really like it I like the full size one but I was specifically just that just grabbed me so I'm going to stitch that and there's a lot of 939 so I might just just do big blocks of 939 now and again and the other one I might 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 start with my to try out my CXC threads which I've never used before um, which I was given a full set of for Christmas I'm going to probably start the mini dewdrop dragon which is max color it's a mini <coughs> it's not very many it's huge it's like two I don't think it's that big I've got it right here hang on I haven't put it in. I haven't put it into um, Doodah yet. I haven't put it in two. Why can't I use my brain? Oh my lord, I've got so many in here. Cosmic Marbles, Vintage Summer Garden Bookshelf, Little Dreamer's Tree. Um, Brand Library, God I bought that, Amazing Animal Kingdom started that, Mini the Little Book Fairy, that's lovely, um, Mini Dewdrop Baby Jag Mini Dewdrop Dragon, Mini Baby Dewdrop Dragon, 275 by 275, so it's not huge, but it's got 236 colours because it's max colour, I'm actually just going to screenshot that, I don't know if I've got a picture which I will put up just here so that we've got uh, so that I've got it on the screen for you I'm just talking nonsense now so once I've done and um, my words are just terrible sorry I'm just sending the picture so that I can upload it and show it you um, my words have all gone Never mind. Um, so once I've <laughs> I don't know. I completely lost my thread. Okay guys, I think I think because my brain is now completely formed to pieces, I think I'm going to get off. I'm gonna start splicing this video together and over the course of today and tomorrow I'll get it sorted, edited and uploaded and we'll have a a whip parade for you so that's all my whips so I've UFO'd a few 
I'm going to re I'm going to start a few and I'm going to try and stitch on Treasure Hunt Bookshelf, one Hade and one non Hade every month. And if I chuck a new start in, I chuck a new start in. I'm not going to be religious about this and I'm not planning in advance. I've planned January. I think I know what I want to stitch on in February. But I'm not going to be strict with myself. If I go, you know what? I want to stitch on Hawk and Hollow. I'm just going to pull it out and stitch on it. And I'll show you in my floss tubes. That's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you for floss tube really soon. I'm working the rest of the week. I think I'm off on Thursday, but I'm working the rest of the week. And I'm taking Maddie back for the weekend. So I will see you for floss tube really soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Hi, guys. I'm back because I missed one. So life is a bit icky now because I'd already started sorting myself out and then I realised I got another one in the fix-it pile. So yesterday when I did my first one, my first attempt at this, I put Castles in the Air in the fix-it pile. I'd also put this, which is called Winter Fairy Tale something or other. Um, I got it on Etsy in Flossmus and started it in Flossmus and I've done really well with this. I'm at 16.85% and it's had an accident. So here's where it is. It's really pretty. I'm, I'm, I'm using this scrap of gridded, pre-gridded DMC 18 count Ada that I found. Um, not my favourite Ada, but I'm getting on with it. I'm getting on with it. I'm getting better. But as you can see, I accidentally tipped the dregs of a cup of coffee. I was holding a cup to carry it downstairs. I had like three cups and they all tw they all slid round my fingers and all ended up pointing like they, they went from vertical to horizontal and one of them had dregs in it. And it went into my bag that I was also holding in the same hand with my cross stitch in it. And I thought it had missed, but it didn't. So I've got dried coffee stain through this blue here. And before I go any further, I need to know whether that's going to come out. So I need to clean, I need to scrub this. I know I'm going to lose my gridded, my grid lines, but I need to know the coffee's going to come out of the stitching. I don't mind it on the fabric because it's going to get washed anyway because it's pre gridded Ada, but not actually in the stitching, not if it's not going to come out because it's obviously discoloured the stitching. So I'm going to scrub just this section here really quite hard to see if it comes out. And if it doesn't come out, I'm going to frog the discoloured stitches and restitch them. But that's a job, that's a fix it job. So that's the reason that one wasn't in. <laughs> it should have been, but it was already, it was in a different pile. So I think that's all, all of my whips. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Right, now I'm going to go. I will see you soon for a Flossmas. Um, as I say, I'm taking Maddie back on Sunday. So it might not be this Thursday. It might be next week sometime that I, I squeeze in a floss tube. But I'm going to try and get back into my doing it on a Thursday rhythm because that seems to work really well and then you get a regular video which is always nice. Right guys I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. If you've not come across me before please subscribe, please like my video, leave me a little comment and I'll be back to do a normal floss tube quite soon. I'll see you later guys. Bye bye.